Do apes share this instinct to help out, or is something limiting them? The chimpanzee sanctuary on Ngamba Island in Uganda is a leading center for studying chimpanzee behavior. When the chimpanzees come in from the forest to eat, it allows researcher Alicia Mellis to conduct experiments in as near to wild conditions as possible. She wants to know what chimpanzees are thinking when they cooperate. Is it really that they understand what's going on? Is it really that they understand there is something like they have to do together? Is it really that they understand that they need a partner? Mellis tests just how far one chimp will go to assist another. She places a long plank next to the cage where the chimpanzees will be. Okay, so I'm going to put some food here in the two dishes on both ends of the, this platform. That's five pieces there and another five pieces here. She then runs a rope from the plank to the cage. When the ends of the rope are close together, like this, one chimp can get the food. Mellis resets the experiment. This time, the ends of the rope are spaced further apart, so one chimp can't pull both at the same time. Next, Mellis places another chimp in the neighboring cage. They lock the door between the two cages. So I fight by myself here, since the rope is too short and I cannot reach both ends, by pulling one end, the rope is going to come out. It's going to lose the connection with the tray. Now the only way for the chimp to get the food is to work with a partner. So what will the chimpanzee do? He realizes he can't do it on his own and removes the peg to release the other chimp. They pull the rope together. In this situation, the chimpanzees help each other. But just one small change tips the delicate balance. This time, there's just as much food as before, but now it's all on one tray in the middle of the plank. Will the two chimps still help each other as humans would? Both hold the rope and one of them pulls the plank in. But the dominant chimpanzee grabs all the food. The experiment is repeated. But now the second chimpanzee refuses to help. He knows he won't get any food. When it comes to sharing, chimps will only go so far. And from a human perspective, uh, two bananas or two apples would be enough to share. You get one and I get the other one. But from a chimpanzee perspective, it doesn't seem that it's enough. And in those situations, they see the partner rather as a competitor than a potential collaborator. When chimpanzees do cooperate, they may be using their partner as a tool. I'm just using this other chimpanzee to obtain my own goal. If that's the case, it is a difference to human cooperation in which we have a shared goal and we have shared intentions.